Ms. DeLauro. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I, I'd like to direct my attention here, if you will, to the, um, the role, the function, um, the relevance of the Capitol Police Board. Um, can you either both uh, both of you? What does the Capitol Police Board do? What is its mission? What is its authority? Thank, you, thank you, ma'am. Uh, Somebody? Yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Uh, the Capitol okay. Police Board acts is a uh, a policy uh, kind of board of directors over the Capitol Police. Uh, there's some statutory authorities that they do have uh, with vehicle and traffic, uh, and the Capitol Police enforce those on a day-to-day basis. Um, there's obviously the emergency uh, and request for executive branch assistance, uh, protection of leadership overseas, um, and, de and deployments are just some of the, some of the uh, direct statutory uh, inputs that the Capitol Police Board does have. Um, I, I see the role of the Capitol Police Board is to provide the policy guidance to the chief, support the chief and the needs that she, she has to both your, com your committees um, and then obviously on the Senate as well. Um, and then to take your concerns uh, with the police and work with the Capitol Police to uh, correct those concerns that you have, as well as personally providing a house perspective to um, to the policing of the grounds. Uh, uh, and, and, and Chief, what, what is your view of the role of the Capitol Police Board? I'm sorry, ma'am, you were breaking up. Could you repeat your question? Oh, sure. Your, your, uh, your view of the role of the Capitol Police Board. Yes, so the Capitol Police Board, in my view, provides direct oversight uh, to the United States Capitol Police. When there are huge or special events that are occurring on the campus, the C United States Capitol Police uh, develops an operational uh, plan and they share those plans with the Capitol Police Board uh, as it relates to uh, an intelligence perspective on any types of events. The Capitol Police Board is kept apprised of any of those things as well. But they, the Capitol Police Board works in close uh, collaboration with, if you will, with the members of Congress so that they can make their security needs known. And then that information is kind of like a, a two-way communication. The Capitol uh, Police Board would then share those requirements with the Capitol Police as it relates to security. With, with regard to January 6th, Was the Capitol Police Board functioning? Did it function? What operational plans were being reviewed? Is it not the fact that when the request for National Guard, uh, when there was a request for National Guard, the Capitol Police, uh, the board uh, said that um, uh, the optics wouldn't be good or we don't need this or the request D d denied. Uh, you, there it doesn't appear to be. What what is its what is its real role? Is it have a a, a role in oversight of the of of, of the Capitol Police? Um, uh, I know it does a lot of ceremonial things, and I appreciate that everybody has to be taken care of, but this board and it's um where was the board and how did it function prior to january 6th and on january 6th so ma'am if i could answer that question as it relates to capitol police uh prior to january 6th i think it's important to note that by statute in order for U.S. Capitol Police to have the National Guards on its grounds in a law enforcement capacity, the Capitol Police Board must first declare an emergency. So in order for us to, 
I think you're Capital Police, your responsibility was to declare an emergency before the Capitol Police Board could respond. No? Okay. Help no, ma'am. So by statute, in order for the U.S. Capitol Police to have the National Guards on our grounds, the Capitol Police Board must declare Board, an emergency. Pastor. Yes, ma'am. Was there any emergency declared? Either prior to with intelligence information that determined that um, uh, we they were coming for the Congress, um, and in, in, in and quite frankly, in the midst, what, where were they? Where was this board prior to, and during this uh, insurrection? Yes, ma'am. So it is my understanding that Chief Sun did make the request to the right. Capitol Police Board to declare an emergency. When? So that when? When? Prior, prior to January 6th. Prior to January 6th. Yes. And the response from the Capitol Police Board was that as, his as request recall, was I, I denied. Know. Right. And the other, the issue was, and I don't have uh, uh, all of my uh, uh, quotes in front of me here, but that it was the optics of the National Guard being on the, the, the that was a concern. Ma'am, ma I don't have, I did, was not privy firsthand to those conversations okay. Okay. to okay. say whether or not they said okay. so, But I know the request was denied. The request was, was denied. The request made prior to January 6th that we have National Guard on the premise and that request was denied by this board. And, and it would appear that this board has, I, 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 I can't get a delineation and we'll find it, of where its authority begins, where it derives from, what it is, and does it, does it rule by, by fiat? They make decision and it and it and, and it and it occurs mr blodgett ma'am ma I, I believe you're that, on the board yes i'm currently on the board yes i was not on the board on january 6th however my understanding um is it was brought up uh at the december board meeting um i would have to go back and check that chief sund uh brought up uh the national guard to Mr. Irving, um, on the 4th, Mr. Irving, I believe, testified uh, the other day that he did not take that to be an ask for an emergency declaration. Um, talked to Mr. Stanger. Um, they, uh, I do not believe that the chief ever spoke to the architect of the, of the Capitol uh, prior to that. I believe that's what Mr. Blanton uh, testified to yesterday, um, who is also on the board. Uh, so the ask would have to come from from all three. Um, the uh, Capitol Police Board issued a verbal declaration of emergency to give authority to National Guard employment on 210 on the 6th. Rosa, if I could just follow up this, this I, board seems to be obsolete. This yeah. board seems to be non-functioning. And, and I think we're, we're, we're getting to the point here. So uh, whether it's Tim or uh, Chief Pittman, it sounds that, uh, there was an official denial of the December meeting for the emergency order. No, no, no. I, I apologize. The, 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 uh, the demonstrations were discussed. There was no request at that time for an order. Did there, I was, there, was, there was no request. Mr. Pittman was for us right. yesterday. And there was never a vote by the board. And I think this is what's really important about how to get to the bottom of this. So it sounds like Mr. Irving was taking all of the authority by the board should have had and was basically denying Chief Sun's request without even bringing it to the board. So that brings about two questions that this committee had, and I think a lot of us have, is that who the hell gave Mr. Irving the authority to not bring requests by the chief of the Capitol Police 
who wants more more help, Mr. Irving makes a decision, a unanimous decision, uh, all by himself, to deny that request and then to go say, go tell the National Guard to lean in. That's problem number one. And problem number two is why didn't Chief Sun push back and demand? I think this is a question for all of us. And demand that he brings that to the board for a vote. So now you bring in the architect of the Capitol. You maybe build an ally to help make this happen. So it sounds like uh, Chairwoman Delora that, that the Sergeant at Arms took the liberties of making this decision without bringing it to the full board. Sir, if I if I may, I I, I don't think that Mr. I, I can't speak for Mr. Irving, but he did testify that he did not take that January fourth conversation uh, with Chief Sun is and ask for an emergency declaration. Um, but you've hit on a historical uh, tension on the board. Uh, there was a report in 2002 uh, from GAO and a subsequent report to Congress by the board at that time in 2003, which talks about um, you know emergencies and, and the board and, and how the structures need to be tightened and they need to be forward thinking and i'm happy to provide the, that report to the committee um as well um but it sums up the tension and, and it talks about some of the issues that you that you raised Chair, chairwoman delora do you have any further questions another is critical whether it is needs to be revamped what kind of authority does it have at the moment i view it as a vestigial uh uh, 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 uh it's, it's just there it doesn't appear to do a hell of a lot nor did it do a hell of a lot to deal with this situation on january 6th it's, it's like your appendix it's just there it doesn't have any real function so the question is um uh the photos of uh, footage of capitol police posing for photos with insurrectionists there are Ongoing investigations is what my understanding is. How many officers are under investigation? What's the rationale? When will the, the investigation be concluded? When can we get in a report? Yes, ma'am. So right now we have 35 officers that are under investigation, and we do have six uh, police officers that have been suspended with their police powers being revoked. So those investigations are ongoing at this time. What what was the rationale? For, what's the rationale for the investigation? I mean, on what premise are you investigating them? Yes, ma'am. If there is an allegation of misconduct, Capitol Police has what's called a rules of conduct, and it's basically a code of conduct that governs our behavior as police officers. If there's a violation of that rules of conduct. Uh, based on those violations, we make decisions to investigate those officers and uh, right. proceed accordingly because if discipline is warranted. What, what, when, when is the investigation going to be concluded? When can we get a report? The investigation is going to be concluded when? The investigations are concluded based on typically a 60 to 90 day no, scale. No, when? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I, Six. Yes, ma'am. And as soon as we have okay. that information, we will report it out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for okay. indulging the time. I probably yep, of course. Going Mr. Over. 